Okay, so next on the list is a Nintendo Switch that is liquid damaged. We already took the board out and we're gonna take a look at the board under the microscope to see if we see anything obvious. We wanna look for possibly blown components, liquid damage, corrosion. Like right here, we do see signs of corrosion here, but it's minor. We can just clean this off with a brush. We're going to check the connector from the inside and make sure the connector is good because if not, then we have to replace it. This is the LCD connector. I do see damage here, so we do have to change this connector, unfortunately. It doesn't make sense to change this LCD connector if the console is not powering on. So we have to make sure that the console does charge and power up and then we can replace this connector. I mean, the connector may still be good. Look at this. It may still be good. Okay, so we'll test after we're done with the repair. We can test it later, no problem. We have corrosion here. minor we have some corrosion here and this is the three-phase buck converter minor but we do have to test the capacitor make sure we do not have a short to ground good charging port and why not test this filter here make sure it's good diode reading 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 that's good and we are all good here and we have a huge mess over here. We just have to test the capacitors, make sure we do not have a short. And other than that, I think we should be okay in this area. But let's test. And we're good. We are good. But this component on top is not good. Let's just move it onto the side. Just like that. Okay, so I think I'm not gonna use this component. We're gonna use a new one or a donor one. That is not missing, but this is just corrosion. Yeah, look at this. Let's grab that component from this donor board. It's that first one on top. But I'm going to use a smaller nozzle so we do not expose the board to a lot of unwanted heat. I have a narrow nozzle here. Let's grab this component. And by the way, before I grab the component, let's measure the value. Just for our information. And the value is 10K. 
10 kilo ohm and this is possibly a two on one size SMD component. 10K. And we're gonna place that component on the customer's board right here. Just like that. This area of the board is done. And honestly, I do not like the way this cap looks. So let's go ahead and change it as well. Look at this. So let's grab the cap from this donor board. Okay, and the capacitor is soldered on nicely. This is a very delicate area, so we cannot apply hot air, so we do not burn this connector. But we used our hot tweezers and we did the job nicely. Very nice. Let's test the cap in diet mode. Make sure it's testing good. One end should be ground and the other end should be reading about 0.5 in diet mode. Okay, very good, 0 0.556 and ground, very nice. We have corrosion here. This side of the board is done, let's flip the board and take a look at this side of the board. P13 chip is good. And this side looks clean. I do not see anything obvious on this side of the board. At least not yet. little bit of corrosion here and there but not a big deal oh nothing minor okay Oh, okay. We have damage here. And possibly we need to test this area to make sure we do not have a short on this cap. Cap is good. And cap is good. We can, however, reflow this chip just in case there's corrosion under it.
and what's going on on this side of the board. So let's take care of this area and we'll test and see. Everything is still here. And we're gonna test in this area to make sure we do not have a short. No short, no short, and no short. I think we should be good. We should be good assuming our LCD connector is good. We may have to change that, but right now we wanna see if this board will charge. All right, so I have a battery here. We're gonna plug it in. And we're going to see if we see any reading on the amp meter. Let me just grab the USB-C adapter. You're on camera. I'm recording a video. <laughs> they all saw you. <laughs> They all know that you're cute? Okay. So let's see. Battery plugged in. Battery plugged in. And we're gonna plug the charging cable. And it's charging. 15 volts at 0 0.48 amps. That's awesome. That's perfect. That's perfect. I'm going to give this board to Big Boss to reassemble and test. And hopefully that LCD connector is good. If not, then I'm going to have to replace it. And I'll be back. Okay, so it's a no-go. We have to change the FEC connector for the screen. Okay, let's go ahead and remove this connector and we're gonna apply heat from bottom of the board. Connector is out, nice and gentle. Okay, so the pads are soaked with leaded solder. And now all we have to do is reflow that FEC connector in place and give it to Big Boss to reassemble and test again. Let's apply flux and put that new connector on and let the magic begin. Right, and let's do it. All right. Beautiful job. Beautiful job. No, no. The 50-50 chance. Possible CPU is the problem. 
the connector reflow down nicely and all the pins should be making a good connection let's find out solid solid beautiful Very nice, the connector is soldered on nicely. Let's check the other end. And let's test the side. Solid, solid, solid. Beautiful, everything is soldered nicely. And now I'm gonna give this to Big Boss to reassemble and test again. I'll be back. All right, the switch is on. It's working, it's working. Great end of the day. I think this will be the last repair for today. Although I still have time for maybe two more repairs, but I'm done. I fixed a lot of things today and I just want to go home and relax. We have two other Nintendo Switches that also came in for liquid damage. We had a total of three Switches with liquid damage that came in this week. We fixed one of them and we have two more. I'll probably do future videos on the other two and see what's going on. But that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll do something else in the next video. So I'm gonna give the big board, so I'm gonna give the board to Big Boss to reassemble and test.